Welcome to The Journey. Welcome to our last episode of The Journey for this week. And today I'm holding a coffee mug. In these days of lockdown, one of the things I miss is sitting drinking coffee in the mornings with some of my colleagues, just sharing where we are or plotting what we will do that day or maybe even in the week that lies ahead. And most of us use a cup in the morning, if not the first thing perhaps that many of us touch. And I thought that we could use this mug to reflect on our lives today and ask ourselves, what might this cup teach us? This cup which is for many of us a daily companion. One of the things we do when we connect with others is we have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and sometimes we even say meet me at such and such a place so that we can have coffee together. And the more I thought about this and the more I missed that morning cup of coffee, the more I pondered how symbolic cups really are. Many of us have a favorite cup. Sometimes the cup is full and sometimes the cup is empty. A full cup might remind us of the many good things that we have, our gifts and the affirmations that we've received from others. An empty cup may remind us of our poverty, our thirst, our wanting or desiring something more, or maybe even at this time, our own vulnerabilities. Sometimes a cup holds warm coffee or tea. And sometimes when we get distracted and we leave that coffee or tea, it goes cold and it isn't so good anymore. So we come back and we toss it out and we refresh it. There are things in our own lives as well that we realize from time to time we don't need anymore. Things we want to let go of, make room, so to speak, for new things, for refreshed things. And that's important to notice as well. Notice too how a cup is only a container for a short period of time. Its contents offer us satisfaction when they are consumed. And when we have tea or coffee with someone else, we too are giving and receiving to and from one another. And that's important because that's what helps us to be connected. Cups too come in various shapes and various sizes. And at different moments in our lives, we feel more or less able to hold what is poured into us. And in this time of lockdown, we may feel that there is so much swirling that there is little place in ourselves for much more. We are bombarded with so many things. Sometimes too, our favorite cup gets stained or chipped. And life has a way too of leaving stains and even chipping us. And yet, despite the stains or the chips, we still continue to use our favorite cup. Despite the stains and the chips that happen to us in life, each of us still has something to offer. We have the gift of our very selves to offer to someone else. Now, look at the rim of your cup. A rim of a cup is a circle, a universal symbol that reminds us of wholeness and totality. It reminds us of eternity and interconnectedness. The rim reminds us of that which we all deeply desire. It reminds us of the longings of our own hearts. At this time, perhaps, when the cup for many of us feels empty and is empty literally for those who suffer loss and poverty, might our cups be teaching us something about our spiritual selves? And so I invite you, next time you make a cup of tea or coffee or pour yourself a drink, sit down with that cup or that mug or that glass and look at it and ask yourself, what do you see in the cup of your life in this time of lockdown? God bless you. 
and we will see you next week as we continue the journey.